Hello and welcome to today's coffee lecture. I'm happy to welcome Lisa Kartner. She's our presenter today. Lisa is part of our research support team at the Science Library. She's subject librarian for math, physics, and computer sciences. Welcome, Lisa, and I'll hand over to you. Hello and welcome to my coffee lecture. I will show you today how to personalize your LaTeX thesis. If you come from a Word background, then you will probably find the standard LaTeX visualization already quite professional. But after a while, you are certainly going to change the way your file looks according to your own taste. Here I have created a little example file with Tech Studio with my MicTech distribution. And it's just an example chapter of a potential thesis. And we are going to look at uh, this example and uh, see how we can change its design. A brief uh, explanation of different LaTeX settings. This is the difference between class and style files. A class file is a combination of typographical settings which form a certain document and the design of a document. While a style file or a package changes certain aspects of the design of your document. If you're not sure what you're talking about, then um, maybe this sentence helps. If a new command, this comes from the programming side of LaTeX, if a new command uh, could be used with any document class, make it a package or a style file. If not, make it a class. So if you uh, want to change your thesis, then uh, this is a, a special document, then you should make it a class. There are different LaTeX document classes in your uh, standard LaTeX distribution. These classes are article, report, book, letter, and slide. And here you can see an example for a style file. This is the package that I'm using here to create some random text for my example chapter. And the um, document classes that we can use for theses are report and book because they both include chapters as well as title page, um, table of content, bibliography in the end. So these are the standard classes that we can use. The difference between them, now I have uh, included report, but if I include the document class book here, is that it changes the margins, but it doesn't change the overall look. The margin is for book, it's a standard two-sided setting. And this is something that you can um, put in the options for report as well. But that's the uh, main visual difference between those two for our example here. There are different options now to change this standard look for your own thesis. You can use style packages in your thesis file. Whenever you come across something that you want to change, you just look for um, the right package, you include it in your tag file, and then you change the design. There's another more sustainable way. Um, you can create your own thesis class. This is where you put all the design changes that you want to do in a class file, and then you can use this thesis class file that's uh, with your personal design for your master thesis, for your PhD thesis. You can distribute it with your uh, colleagues or, or for your institute. Yeah, so this would be the more sustainable option. And the third option, of course, is that you can find templates of design for theses on the internet, which do the design work for you. So I will briefly explain those three options now with our example file. Here's the example file again. And what I'm doing now is really basic. I want to change the color of my chapter heading. And I'm also changing the size here of this little chapter one text. What I do here is I look for the package that I want to use. It's called title sec. I can change the title with a package like this. I use the color package and I can uh, use this command here to change the color of my heading and the size of this part of the heading. 
I run my tag file and it changes the look of my chapter heading accordingly. So whenever you come across something you want to change, um, you use the package and then it changes the design of your thesis. The second one, the more sustainable, but also more complex one, is to create your own thesis class. You do not do this from scratch. You don't write a class from scratch, but you use um, one of the standard classes. You find them, those class files um, in your MIGTEC repository. Here uh, is the report class. And now you can open this. I have opened it in my notepad editor. What you do not do is change the report class itself. This is basically forbidden. Uh, otherwise, you would mess up your, your standard report class. But you do make a copy, you rename it, and you store it in your thesis folder. Also, not in the MIGTEC folder where the other report class is stored. That's just the way that this is done. And then you look at this rather complicated class file. You can see it has a set more than 700 lines. You need to make sense of the structure and find the parts you want to adjust. Here for our little example, I have looked for the place to make these changes that we want to do. This is the original report class on the left side and on the right side is my new own report class. I have renamed it, stored it in my thesis folder. And now I can start making these changes. I changed the size here from huge to large. I changed the color here. And what's also important, I comment the changes I made in my new class file. And now I can use this class file here as a new document class. I add here my own report the class file I created. And without um, using any further packages or anything, which is really neat and gives a nice clean look on your tech document, I run the tech document and I have the same effect. I have created this blue chapter heading and uh, changed here the size a little bit. So this is how you would proceed with creating your own class file. The third option, is to look for templates on the internet. There are thousands of templates. There are some possible sources, the website LaTeX templates or Overleaf. This is a commercial website for LaTeX users, but it also has some free available templates. Here I even found a PhD thesis template from the University of Bern on Overleaf. And of course you can check places like GitHub or Stack Exchange for interesting templates, for interesting um, ideas on typography or visual style examples. I have some examples here now to use with our own little thesis chapter. Here I just downloaded a template, a class file. This one's called Cow Book. And again, I just uh, run my tag file with this class file. And this changes the font of my chapter heading here. So you usually have some more explanation. This is also the cow book template where you can get an idea on how the whole thesis would look like. Another one is the one that I found here on Overleaf. It's called classic thesis template. It uses the document class SCR report. And this gives you a more book-like style of your thesis. And also, again, this would be an example from the template file where you can see how this thesis template would look. The last example that I want to show you is called Tufte Book, also from latechtemplates.com. And um, this gives a more of a classical look to your thesis with a nice font here. And also it uh, gives you an example on what a complete thesis would look like. So this is the design of this Tufte template. That's a pretty famous one in the LaTeX community. Okay, so I'm wrapping up now. I uh, hope you could get some ideas on what kind of options you have to change and personalize the look of your thesis. 
and there are many ways how to create something that um, really reflects your personal style. And I hope you will find the way that you want to use and that works best for you. So thank you for your attention. <laughs>